this Pokemon Game Boy game has been destroyed by liquid damage, so today I'm gonna see if I can fix it. Initially, it doesn't really look that bad when you look at this, but once you take a closer look, you can actually see that every single one of these circuit traces right down here is completely corroded away. But once you take a close look, you can see there's no actual connection between the pin on the board and the actual circuit trace that goes to all these chips. So I've decided, rather than try and fix up this board, why don't we just install all of these chips onto a new board? One of the things I have to be careful of using hot air on these really thin boards is overheating them. If they get too overheated, then they can warp or the layers can delaminate and we definitely want to avoid that. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got a Nintendo logo, that's good. And there we go. I have to admit, that was a pretty fun fix for me. I hope you enjoyed it as well. 